Now, to treat your knee pain or stiffness of your knee from sports injuries, arthritis, or overstrain, find the eye of the knee and then place the pad on each side of the kneecap. Treat this area for 20 minutes. After that, you can move the pads to wherever you have specific pain. On top of the knee, just below the knee, or to the side of the knee. Now to treat the calf muscles for cramping at night, or if you want to improve the blood circulation, place one pad behind the knee and the second one just at the bottom of the calf muscles. You can also treat the calf muscles by placing one pad on each side of the calf muscle to stimulate the muscles to relax. Now there are two groups of hamstring muscles, the outer group and the inner group. To treat hamstring pain or pull muscle in the hamstring, place both pads on the same muscle group, either on the outside group or both pads on the inner group of the hamstring. Now to treat your shin muscles, or for those of you who have shin splints, just place one pad on the top of the shin muscle and the other one at the bottom of the shin muscle. Now to treat ankle pain from chronic sprain or acute sprain of the ankle, place one pad right over the area where you have pain and swelling and just place the other pad on the other side. This treatment is also good for arthritis of the ankle and just poor circulation through the ankle area. Now, some common foot problems are poor circulation due to diabetes and bad blood circulation, arthritis of the toes. Some of you may have pain in the bottom of the foot relating to plantar fasciitis or a spot pain right here due to heel spur. Now, to treat arthritis of the toes, place one pad on each side of the joint to relieve the pain and the inflammation. For those of you suffering with plantar fasciitis or heel spur, place one pad over the heel, second one at the ball of the foot, just like that. To improve the circulation to the foot, place one pad at the back of the ankle and second pad at the bottom of the foot. Now to treat your menstrual cramps, place one pad just above the pubic bone and the second pad just below the belly button. If you have cramping on the side of the abdomen, you could move the pad over those areas just as well. Now if this treatment doesn't give you 100% relief, in addition, you can treat the lower back because the nerves from your lower back also make connection to the nerve that supply your uterus. Now to treat facial pain and to maintain facial tone, turn the device on, go to mode number three. This is the most gentle mode and is ideal for facial treatments. Place one pad just in front of the ear because that's where the nerve exits from the face. And second pad should be placed just above the eye on the forehead. Hold the pads down with your hands for two to three minutes. After that, move the pads to below the eyes for another two to three minutes treatment. And lastly, just below the jaw for another two or three minutes. Now, 
the intensity you want to use is just very low. You want to have it high enough so you feel some stimulation and a very mild involuntary muscle movement if necessary. For TMJ related pain or jaw related pain, you can place one pad on each side of the jaw just in front of the ear. Now for facial treatment, because the face is oily and often has makeup, you do need to hold the pads with your own hand because the pads will not stick to your skin.